Here's another small one that is a huge difference to me, and that is the ability to undo in Studio One. Let me show you. Let's say I put on this plugin, whatever this plugin is. It's probably going to take, it's this reverb. And I say, oh, I didn't mean that reverb. I meant the other reverb. All I have to do is go Apple Z, and it takes the reverb off. Let's say I created a whole send. Oh, I didn't want to create that send. Apple Z, undo. Volume change. This one actually Pro Tools does do, but you can undo here. Anything you do, EQ moves, all of that, you can undo in Studio One. Pro Tools, the only thing I can undo is this, is a level change. I can't add a plugin and then say, oh, I didn't mean to add that plugin, hit Apple Z. Nothing happens. I just have to close the plugin now, go there, no insert, three or four steps. Like I say, it's small, but doing that over and over again, I make a lot of mistakes. It's a big deal. You know, sometimes you'll do something in Pro Tools that's just detrimental to what you're working on and you just can't undo it. Studio One, you make a mistake, and you're like, oh man, I did not mean to clear out that whole vocal chain with that one plugin by mistake, which has happened before. You do that in Pro Tools and you're done. You do that in Studio One, just hit undo. So the ability to use undo in Studio One compared to Pro Tools is just miles ahead. I don't know why Pro Tools hasn't implemented more undo, but that's just the way it is. And I will take Studio One to undo over Pro Tools any day of the week.